So next up, podcast listeners, we have the Daily Biden Dumpster Fire. And the Daily Biden Dumpster Fire has the President of the United States speaking at an event. And at that event, the President uses a word that actually actually has been made illegal. A lot of people don't know this. The word was made illegal for its use in the federal government by President Obama. That's a fact. You're not allowed to use the word. And nonetheless, didn't stop Biden from using the word. And we're going to talk about this a little bit because I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, Well, first, you decide. We have the clip, and here it is. You know, I've adopted the attitude of the great Negro at the time, pitcher in the Negro Leagues, went on to become a great pitcher in the pros into the Major League Baseball after Jackie Robinson. His name was Satchel Paige. (laughs) So that's Joe Biden. And in Reuters, Reuters, of course, here's the media with his back. Fact check. Biden goes viral with muddled reference to 1920s Negro Leagues player Satchel Paige. Users on social media are sharing a clip of the United States President Joe Biden talking about American baseball player Satchel Paige and criticizing his use of language. Examples can be seen here and here. The clip comes from a longer video of remarks Biden made at Arlington National Cemetery on Veterans Day, November 11th, 2021. And at the 10950 mark, Biden says, you know, quote, I've adopted the attitude of the great Negro at the time pitcher in the Negro League went on to become a great pitcher and the pros and eventually baseball after Jackie Robinson. His name was Satchel Page and Satchel Page on his 47th birthday pitched a win against Chicago. The clip shows Biden appearing to stumble over his words with the first mention of Page before going on to reference the Negro League's in the following phrase, roughly 3,400 players competed in the seven Negro Leagues from 1920 through 1948, but were denied equal recognition to their white counterparts long after Jackie Robinson became the first black player in a major league roster in the modern era in, modern era in 1945. So that's Reuters basically trying to provide backup for Biden for the, for the use of the word that apparently... You can't say anymore as a federal employee or a federal official in the United States. So I have a different view of this. And you know what that view is? You should never ban words. As you know, podcast listeners and Mark and the Millennials, we have the dumbest bill in America. And so many times the bills are about banning. And that's not the function, okay? Primarily of government. How do you ban language? Okay, because... If something happened in the past, including language that is offensive, such as the word Negro, obviously offensive, and there was this thing called the Negro League, which is a fact. It's a league of baseball players and baseball teams that played against one another because black players were were prohibited from playing in the white professional baseball teams and leagues. And how do you talk about those historical events if you don't, if you can't actually use the words? And I think really Joe Biden, whether he really knows it or not, has stumbled upon something that's really important that needs to be talked about. And that is when you're going to use the term Satchel Page. And he belonged to the Negro League at that time. That's what it was called. And here's what the Negro League was. And here is why it is important in American history. Go down that road. Podcast listeners, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, of course, Biden is a in this daily bump, dumpster fire because he can't really complete a comprehensive sentence or paragraph to really explain what he's trying to talk about. And he had an opportunity there to say, you know what, President Obama tried to outlaw this word, but if we actually talk about the word and the term, then we can actually talk about what happened in history. And also, you know what we can do? We can look at today's American League 
a National League in baseball and realize how far we've come. How far we've come. But there's another part of this too, podcast listeners, and that is Joe Biden. Joe Biden has to constantly bring up these issues of way, I mean, we're talking about 1920s, way in the past, because this is the modern Democrat Party. The modern Democrat Party has to keep black voters on their plantation. They have to keep black voters on the Democrat plantation. They have to do so by by expanding entitlements, by keeping schools awful and poor. And they have to be able to continue to keep black voters on the Democrat plantation because as soon as they lose more of those voters, they will never, ever be able to get back in office again. And obviously, they're trying to replenish those voters with Hispanic voters and to pay off those Hispanic voters, as we've talked about, talked about before. But what's interesting is, is the media, when they're correcting and backing up Joe Biden, what they're not doing is talking about the whole history, the whole history, including who was for Jim Crow, who was the Democrats. And the fact that in America today, the governor of Virginia, the current governor, I mean, he's a lame duck, but he's the current governor of Virginia, Governor Ralph Northam wore blackface, not once, not twice, but apparently three times. And according to him, Ralph Northam even admitted it. And there's even a picture of Ralph Northam in his yearbook. I think it's his medical school yearbook too. So obviously he wasn't like a kid. And Governor Ralph Northam at that time in his medical yearbook was wearing either blackface or a KKK outfit. And so the media can never talk about these things. How could they? How could they possibly ever talk about the more, you know, difficult issues? So in PolitiFact, PolitiFact said about this in context, Joe Biden's, quote, Negro reference to baseball player Satchel Paige. So after President Joe Biden, this is in PolitiFact, obviously they've got his back. After President Joe Biden clumsily related to an, an anecdote about Negro Leagues and Major League pitcher Satchel Paige, he triggered a storm of denunciation from the right. The Negro Leagues were the all-black baseball teams that played largely during the 1920s and 1930s when baseball was segregated. Page was one of the star players. A misleading Facebook post by the conservative group For America, which has 7 million Facebook followers, stated, quote, Joe Biden, referring to Hall of Fame pitcher Satchel Page as the great Negro at the time, sounds just as terrible as you'd think it would. Yikes. Biden's misstep drew derision from conservative commentators as well as coverage from outlets such as Fox News, which called his remarks a gaffe. Biden, who sometimes stutters, has had his share of verbal stumbles, some of which have been misconstrued or distorted. In February, we rated Foss a claim that he had used a racial slur when he stumbled over the word eager. So we wanted to take a closer look at the remarks for America and others were referring to and their context. Biden was in the process of describing Page as a great Negro League's pitcher, but stumbled with his words and initially stopped at the word Negro. And so PolitiFact then goes on to tell you what Biden said, as well as um, why it was okay, even though that Biden stumbled over his words. And instead of saying a great player and an historic player in what was then called the Negro League, but Biden stopped at the word Negro and then put a period at the end. And the reason I'm saying this podcast listeners to you, okay, is because if this were a Republican, he would be (laughs) canceled. They would say, get this guy out of office. Even if you made a gaffe, get this guy out of office. And the media would have been 100% Reuters wouldn't have been there backing up the president if he were a Republican saying, this is what, you know, we're just fact checking and this is what he meant to say. And PolitiFact wouldn't have been. No, they would have all been there to do what? They would have been there to tell the president that he needs to resign from office. And remember, in this same podcast, podcast listeners, we were talking about MSNB saying that truck drivers are too Trumpian and that white drivers 55 years or of age or older who are truck drivers are really all bad drivers because of the color of their skin. And then we have 
the president of the United States, who's a Democrat, who says a word that was outlawed in the federal government, not even supposed to use the word, which of course is absurd because you can't, how do you talk about history if you can't use the word? But he uses the word nonetheless, stumbles over it, and he's immediately backed up. He's immediately backed up. And this tells you, this tells you why our country is so off the rails because the media is off the rails, okay? The police are being forced to go off the rails, not because they want to, but because of the blue city mayors like Lori Lightfoot. And then, of course, the Biden administration and Kamala Harris are completely at war with one another. And that administration is completely off the rails with Joe Biden at 37.8% approval rating and Kamala Harris at 27.8% approval rating. God save our country. Mm.